the truth. Subjects on, you know, I mean, the Blake Griffin trade was obviously in the news the last couple days, and the whole, you know, he signs long term, he gets traded. What did you just think about that whole story and just how it unfolded? Uh, NBA is a business, we all know that. I mean, it's no surprise when stuff like this happens. It's only a surprise when um, players kind of move like that. Uh, but uh, fans and people that watch the game expect stuff like this to happen. And us as players, it's definitely shocking because Blake Griffin, well, when he signed, they did say he was going to be a clipper for life. So we know those words really don't mean anything as players, but. You know, it still probably felt good to Blake that he got that reassurance that he'll be there after, you know, coming off injury and signing the deal after CP left. So, you know, as a player, you kind of try to look at it from Blake's position. But as a fan, you only know that this only happens. This happens all the time. It's something. Say it again? What do you, kind of, what do you make of that? Yeah. Uh, I double standards in the world all around, man, not just in sports, you know, it is what it is. And the truth of the matter is Blake Griffin still is making 173 million over the next four years. He's playing with uh, with a legendary coach Stan Van Gundy and some great young players. Trey probably caught him off guard, but I'm sure he's excited. He's at a he's at a really good organization. Uh, they got some, some good things going on in Detroit New Arena. Just, you can just tell they're trying to find some new energy. And, uh, I think it'll be good for Blake. Uh, but on the other side, we know we know what the front office means. We know what they're really trying to do is to get their organization better. Down the plan, down the plan. Great. Joe Ingles really kind of got loose early. Is that what, what just kind of happened defensively, especially in the first quarter? Yeah, just watching too much, watching the ball, staying at the ball, not worrying about my man. He got loose. Yeah, that's what, that's what kind of won the game. They got the rhythm off of that. So I got to be better. It seemed like energy just what energy level wasn't there. Is there was there a reason for that? Yeah, I mean I can't let Joe Ingles get loose on threes. You know, like the expect us to. You know, play well on the road, especially in here. So um, I got to start off the game better if I want to improve the game. Are you as disappointed in tonight's performance personally as, as you've been this year on any of your the games? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's probably the most disappointed I've been. And uh, this is game 51. I'll take that. It's deep in the season. Uh, you know, so get better from it, move on. Just. The solution to this is to play harder and be more focused when I step on that court. So I wasn't good tonight, and, but we got you know, a lot more games to go, and I got another opportunity to, to redeem myself. No. No, not really. I mean, we just didn't have it. They made shots as well on top of that.